I often get asked, what is IO Psych? It stands for Industrial Organizational Psychology. The quick answer I give is it's psychology in the workplace. Well, IO Psychology in general is one of the fastest growing career fields of all careers. Our basic slogan is essentially science for a smarter workplace. So what we do is we work with organizations and research organizations to help organizations optimize their bottom line while also addressing employee issues and needs and making sure that employees are also successful in their uh, workplaces as well. Our psych department here is not for everyone, but for people who are into the kinds of things that we're doing here, you can't get this kind of experience anywhere else. We've really set ourselves apart in terms of our expertise in this topic, and it, it's a good place to do it at s and There's a lot of overlap with engineering management, with the business program, with a lot of things like that. The average salary of a graduate of the master's in IO psychology is around $64,000. There's a lot of available jobs, and there's a, really a developing appreciation for the need for this kind of thing. There's things like recruitment specialists or training specialists where you work with an organization in the organization to develop ideal recruitment strategies or to help train employees, design training programs for different organizational needs, that kind of thing. You might assist an organization with their performance management process or um, you might work under an organizational development specialist and then help with things like employee engagement surveys, organizational culture adjustments, uh, strategy and design, those types of areas. We do try to take a large group of our students to the National Conference of PSYOP, which is a division of APA, which PSYOP stands for the Society of Industrial Organizational Psychologists. Um, and that's a nice way to not only get to know each other face to face, but also to network. This last year we had a lot of our alums from the program there, and it was kind of neat for the current students to see, oh, I'm working at this company, I'm doing that, or this class was really great because it helped me do this. So there's some networking events that way. We offer most of our classes at night uh, so that even people who are working full-time jobs will be able to tune in live to the class. Distance students here get much closer to the same experience as on-campus students than you normally would in an online class, and yet they get a lot of the benefits of online classes in terms of flexibility. There's cameras and video conferencing on, and the class is recorded so distance students can watch the class at any time. So this program, we offer a lot of flexibility, and we also take a lot of pride in having the wealth of experience in the classroom that comes from students who are working professionals. I teach a class on statistical programming, and so they can be running the procedures uh, at the same time at home and ask me when they have problems because it helps so much to be able to work through something while someone is there to help you. The diploma looks exactly the same whether you graduated on campus or at a distance. Um, anybody can come to the graduation ceremony so if you we have had people living outside of state that come and the first time they set foot on the campus is when they go to the graduation ceremony. We've had students who have started on campus and because a spouse gets a job or this or that, they switch and finish as a distance student. So it's very flexible, but it is exactly the same. The Applied Workplace Psychology Certificate replicates the beginning of the master's degree. So that's their most common one for people to start in. They will do that, it gets them started on the master's degree. If they decide their life is too busy and they can't finish that, they stop at the certificate and then don't do the master's. Um, if they get started, then they can continue on with the master's. So you're taking four courses in a focused area and it's a quick way you can do that in two semesters and have something to put on your resume, have something to show to your employer or a future employer that you've gained that specialty. So we've had students who already have a master's degree but come back and do a certificate with us just to get up to date in the field or focus in this area. Our master's degree is in industrial organizational psychology which is focusing on psychology in the workplace. Uh, it's 40 hours. If you go full time you can finish that in two years. There's courses in the fall and spring semesters. In the middle summer between your first year and your second year, there's one online course that you can take. 
If you want to go part-time, you can go slower. The program is set up where these courses are often in a predictable, this one's every fall, this one's every spring, so it's easy to know what you can take when. We get a lot of questions about the thesis or non-thesis track. The way our program works is no matter which track you choose, it's 40 credit hours. Um, what ends up happening is if you choose the non-thesis track, you end up taking six credits worth of elective courses, so things like advanced social psychology, occupational health and safety, um, advanced human factors are some examples of electives if you choose the non-thesis. If you choose the thesis track, then you work with an advisor of your choosing, and then you take six credits of thesis hours um, with, that per with your thesis advisor. When you're trying to do performance evaluations in a company, or you're trying to come up with a selection test to figure out who to hire, or trying to come up with a standardized job interview process, or if you're trying to help people prioritize which tasks they should spend more time on, or any of these things require psychological expertise, right? Require designing good tests and measures and methods, require statistical know-how, um, and require an appreciation for all of these confounding variables that make th measuring things like this challenging. And that's really what we can give to students. If you have any questions about the IO Master's program or any of the certificates we offer, you can email us at psychpsych at msd.edu.